Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology Final Exam Practice Questions Part 1. There will be 50 multiple choice questions in this video. Question 1. The region of the lower back and side between the lowest rib and the pelvis is the what region? A. Plantar. B. Lumbar. C. Cervical. D. Thoracic. The answer is B. Lumbar. The term that refers to the thigh or part of the lower extremity between the hip and the knee is a. popliteal, b. tarsal, c. frontal, d. femoral. The answer is d. femoral. The term caudal is sometimes used instead of the word a. inferior, b. superior, c. superficial, d. anatomical. The answer is a. Inferior. The term costal refers to the A. Ribs. B. Neck. C. Wrist. D. Groin. The answer is A. Ribs. The terms what and cranial are sometimes used instead of the word superior. A. Caudal. B. Ventral. C. Cephalic. D. Dorsal. The answer is C. Cephalic. The ventral cavity is subdivided into a. Abdominal cavity and pelvic cavity. b. Thoracic cavity and abdominal pelvic cavity. c. Vertebral cavity and pleural cavity. d. Cranial cavity and vertebral canal. The answer is b. Thoracic cavity and abdominal pelvic cavity. Tissues are organized into what, such as the brain, stomach, or heart. a. Organelles. b. Body systems. C. Organs. D. Organisms. The answer is C. Organs. Two structures that characterize humans as vertebrates are the what or brain case and the backbone or what column? A. Cranium, caudal. B. Cranium, vertebral. C. Cephalic, caudal. D. Cephalic, vertebral. The answer is B. Cranium vertebral. When a structure is closer to the body midline or point of attachment to the trunk, it is described as what? a. distal, b. medial, c. anterior, d. proximal. The answer is d. proximal. Proximal, toward or nearest the trunk or the point of origin of a part, example, the proximal end of the femur joins with the pelvic bone. When the body is standing erect, eyes looking forward, arms at the sides, and the palms and toes directed forward, it is said to be in the what position? a. anatomical b. front c. standing d. physiological The answer is a. anatomical What is one of the largest cells in the human body? a. nerve b. sperm c. epithelial d. ovum The answer is D. Ovum. What is the serous membrane lining the abdominal cavity? A. Parietal pleura. B. Synovial membrane. C. Parietal peritoneum. D. Visceral pleura. The answer is C. Parietal peritoneum. What surrounds and protects the cell, regulating passage of materials into and out of the cell? A. Nuclear envelope. B. Endoplasmic reticulum. C. Cytoplasm. D. Plasma membrane. The answer is D. Plasma membrane. The cell spends most of its life in what phase, the period between mitoses? A. Telophase. B. Prophase. C. Metaphase. D. Interphase. The answer is D. Interphase. The diffusion of water molecules through a selectively permeable membrane from a region where water molecules are more concentrated to a region where they are less concentrated is called what? a. osmosis b. diffusion c. active transport d. filtration The answer is a. osmosis The jelly-like material of the cell is called what? a. nucleus b. cytoplasm C. Flagella. D. Organelles. The answer is B. Cytoplasm. 
The main types of wet membranes are mucous membranes, serous membranes, and the skin. A. Synovial. B. Epithelial. C. Connective tissue. D. Cardiac. The answer is, B. Epithelial. The passage of materials through membranes by mechanical pressure is known as what? A. Active transport. B. Diffusion. C. Filtration. D. Permeability. The answer is, C. Filtration. When blood cells are placed in a hypertonic solution, A. The blood cells swell and may burst. B. The blood cells die immediately. C. There is a net movement of water molecules out of the cells. D. The net movement of water molecules is zero. The answer is, C. There is a net movement of water molecules out of the cells. When blood cells are placed in a hypotonic solution, A. There is a net movement of water molecules into the cells. B. Water is pumped out of the cells. C. The cells shrink. D. Water is removed by phagocytosis. The answer is, A. There is a net movement of water molecules into the cells. The inner, not the most inner, layer of the skin is called what? A. Subcutaneous. B. Dermis. C. Epidermis. D. Endodermis. The answer is, B. Dermis. The outermost layer of skin is called what? A. Dermis. B. Subcutaneous. C. Epidermis. D. Keratin. The answer is, C. Epidermis. The part of the hair above the skin surface is what? A. Root. B. Follicle. C. Keratin. D. Shaft. The answer is, D. Shaft. The patterns of ridges and grooves visible on the skin of the soles and palms reflect the arrangement of the what elevations beneath. A. Subcutaneous. B. Collagen. C. Dermal. D. Sebum. The answer is, C. Dermal. The skin contains a compound that is converted to what when the skin is exposed to ultraviolet rays from the sun. A. Vitamin E. B. Vitamin A. C. Vitamin D. D. Vitamin C. The answer is, C. Vitamin D. The skin is important in maintaining what? The balanced internal environment. A. Homeostasis. B. Homogeneous. C. Mitosis. D. Heterogeneous. The answer is, A. Homeostasis. The subcutaneous layer beneath the dermis is also known as what? A. Superficial fascia. B. Superficial layer. C. Epithelial fascia. D. Epidermis. The answer is, A. Superficial fascia. The subcutaneous layer consists of what connective tissue usually containing a lot of adipose tissue? A. Stratified. B. Loose. C. Simple. D. Dense. The answer is, B. Loose. Tiny bundles of what muscles contract in response to cold or fear, making the hair stand up straight and causing goose flesh? A. Erector pili. B. Subcutaneous. C. Erector spinae. D. Epidermal. The answer is, A. Erector pili. Together with its glands, hair, and nails, the skin makes up what? A. Sensory receptors. B. Integumentary system. C. Subcutaneous layer. D. Epidermis layer. The answer is, B. Integumentary system. The maxillae fuse to what? A. Form the lower jaw. B. Contain the olfactory nerves. C. Hold the pituitary gland. D. Form the upper jaw. The answer is, D. Form the upper jaw. The medial bone of the forearm, the main forearm bone in the elbow joint, is a. Humerus. B. Ulna. C. Radius. D. Femur. The answer is, B. Ulna. The neural arch, A, is protected by an intervertebral disc. B. Contains the spinal cord. C. Is the body of a vertebra. D. Is the posterior, curved region of a vertebra. The answer is, D. Is the posterior, 
curved region of a vertebra. The occipital bone, A, forms the forehead. B, forms the posterior part and most of the floor of the skull. C, is the lower jaw bone. D, forms the roof of the cranium. The answer is, B, forms the posterior part and most of the floor of the skull. The red marrow within some bones produces, A, blood cells. B, osteoclasts. C, hormones. D, osteocytes. The answer is, A, blood cells. The sagittal suture, A, is the joint between the two parietal bones. B, joins the parietal bone to the occipital bone. C, permits a baby's head to be compressed during birth. D, joins the parietal bones to the frontal bone. The answer is, A, is the joint between the two parietal bones. The six types of what joints are gliding, condyloid, saddle, pivot, hinge, and ball and socket. A, synovial. B, immovable. C, synarthrotic. D, amphiarthrotic. The answer is, A, synovial. The spaces within the spongy bone are filled with what? A, bone marrow. B, canaliculi. C, lacunae. D, osteans. The answer is, A, bone marrow. The vertebral column is made up of how many cervical, thoracic, and lumbar vertebrae and two fused bones? A, 7, 5, 12. B, 7, 12, 5. Circa 12, 7, 5. D, 5, 12, 7. The answer is, B, 7, 12, 5. There are how many thoracic vertebrae? 5, 7, 3 to 5, or 12? The answer is, 12. The external intercostals are important in what? A. Breathing. B. Isometric exercise. C. Chewing. D. Turning the head. The answer is, A. Breathing. The gastrocnemius muscle, A. Rotates the thigh laterally. B. Flexes the trunk. C. Abducts the arm. D. Flexes the knee. The answer is, D. Flexes the knee. The gluteus maximus, A. Extends and rotates the thigh laterally. B. Extends the leg at the knee. C. Flexes the trunk. D. Plantar flexes the foot. The answer is, A. Extends and rotates the thigh laterally. The immediate source of energy for muscle contraction is A. Oxygen B. Lactic acid C. Glycogen D. ATP The answer is, D. ATP The masseter muscle, A. Rotates the arm medially B. Is important in chewing C. Abducts the thigh D. Flexes the knee The answer is, B. Is important in chewing the muscle fibers are arranged in bundles known as A. Endomysium B. Fascicles C. Paramecium D. Tendons The answer is B. Fascicles The muscle that contracts to produce a particular action is known as A. Antagonist B. Origin C. Insertion D. Agonist The answer is D. Agonist. The overlapping of myosin and actin filaments, A, produces a pattern of bands or striations. B, releases acetylcholine. C, stimulates the release of calcium. D, releases creatine phosphate. The answer is, A, produces a pattern of bands or striations. Thin filaments, consist of the protein actin. A, myosin B. Tendon C. Fascicle D. Actin. The answer is, D. Actin. What cells are specialized to receive neural impulses and transmit them to the cell body? A. Gliles. B. Dendrites. C. Axons. D. Neurotransmitters. The answer is, B. Dendrites. Watch this video again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, Comment and share.